How's it going, folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Dying Light to Stay Human. In the last episode that was not a live stream, we started a quest called the Deserter, and we were supposed to look for a PK officer named Bart, and, uh, well, one thing led to another, and here we are asking Steve in the canteen about him. So, that's exactly what I'm here to do. Let's see, you're always there. You two, maybe not, but you're probably just filler NPCs. You're not the guy by the bar. I'm gonna say... You. Aha! I called it. Oh, PK propaganda? Okay. Hello. So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I'd take client confidentiality very seriously. And I'd take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. Let's offer an exchange. I sided with the PKs so that way they could bring some form of law and order to the otherwise lawless and most likely chaotic post-apocalyptic place. Um, I'm not going to use them as threatens or bargaining chips, so let's offer an exchange. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. But? But you got to do something for me in return. First. Yeah, like what? Like... Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I want to come up with something good. If you're just going to waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. Okay, almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's do your belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, if you want me to tell you about Bart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Judging by your reaction, it might be therapeutic. <laughs> you got the music in you. Let it out. You can't be serious. Last chance to get what you want. Rap like no one's listening. Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. All right, let's agree. I want to hear Aiden rap. Fine. I'll do it. You know, I saw the stage. Oh, <laughs> I saw the stage. I was very curious whenever that would actually get used. Right, I'm busy. Let's put this in the stamina. There we go. Just want to have that pop up, and Aiden can freak out in front of him. All right, put the magic hands down, and there's a chair in front of us. Oh, there we go. All right. We are rapping, apparently. Steve, you can do guitar. I'll do this. Let's see if you can lay it down. Talk to me, bro. Okay, let's not diss him. Worldview. They call me a pilgrim. It means I've been around. Let me tell you that Villador is one badass town. Biomarkers are dope. They give people hope. Yeah! And that giant cathedral makes me feel like the Pope! <laughs> epic, brother! Simply epic! Let's talk about the people that I've met in this town. Some are good, some are bad, and plenty are down. We got those who are scheming, and those who are dreaming. Yes! I hope it's in your love, not toxic waste that I drown! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about!
survivors in this town without pity. Some of it is ugly, but there's plenty that's pretty. They all night every weather. We're in this together. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lesson I've learned as a pilgrim in the city. Mr. Fun, Mr. Fun. Oh man, you are a hot quick, Aiden. You gotta get going. I'm eating you up. <laughs> Why not? Gotta give the people what they want, right? They call me a miracle, a lyrical shotgunner. Here to regale you with the tale of the night runners. They sided with the people at the time of the fall. Yeah! And I think you'll agree that the story is a stunner! Dude, edge of my seat, man! Totally! First we got viral, they're biting baby beasts. Then volatiles and biters on your flesh they will feast. If you're high in the air, banshees give you a scare. <laughs> yeah! And that's just a little sample of a chemically disease. Dude, you're taking me there, man. Genius. <laughs> suiciders, they go boom. You say suiciders, they go boom. Suiciders, they go boom. Suiciders, they go boom. <laughs> suiciders. They go boom! You say! Suiciders, they go boom! They got a way to clear a room because... Suiciders, they go boom! Suiciders, they go boom! If a chapel becomes a tomb, that's cause... Suiciders, they go boom! Suiciders, they go boom! Some of the dark side of Lumpster Fire Town. Plus, all of its leaders are incurable ass clowns. This place ain't all dope, and there ain't that much hope. Oh, yeah! Cause when it comes to shitholes, this city takes the crown! Man, you're talking about my home, man! Come on! Oh, that was fucking amazing! Like, lyrical parkour! Outstanding! That was something. That's not really how I imagined that going. But all right. I mean, Aiden, he didn't he didn't disappoint. I wanted to kind of go between all of them, but I didn't really want to diss uh, this guy. That's what I call an unforgettable performance. Gotta admit, when I asked you to sing, I was yanking your chain. <laughs> but that was perfect. You're gonna tell me what I need to know, or I'm. <laughs> no further delay. Uh, fine. <laughs> Your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well, easy job, really. But we ran into a peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid me up front. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? Believe me. I'd love to drop another quarter in the jukebox for one more song, <laughs> but I'm being honest here. That's all I know. All right, then. Tell me where you left them. Um, there's an old coffee shop. Not far from here. By the off-ramp from the E-12. By a metro stop. You can figure it out from there. All right, then. You talk to Stweave. Stweave? <laughs> Stweave is apparently his name. Look for Bart near the old coffee shop. You got it. So, he was going to the Colonel. Do we happen to know why? I mean, possibly he was just looking. So, I mean, obviously, if he's some sort of deserter, whether he wanted to get away from the PKs, for them. In the last episode, I thought that he might be gay and that the other PKs were, you know, kind of ragging on him for it. And he didn't feel like welcome there. So, maybe he went to the Colonel. Um... Obviously, if someone's going to desert a group, they aren't very likely to uh, go back to them in any sort. So I'm very curious why you chose the Colonel. 
he could have gone with just survivors or stuck out with the canteen or something. Anyways. Oh, I've been here before. Kind of just for loot, but I've been to this place before. Alright. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's a brick. And here I thought it was a bag of coffee. Uh oh. Oh. It's a cool looking weapon. Signs of a fight. Recent, too. Very recent. And the weapon broke. Looks familiar. Hmm. Ah, okay. Got some zombies out there. Nothing in this kitchen. Bridge, maybe? There's <laughs> just a... Just a little kid in the fridge, just, uh, <laughs> kind of wacky with a knife. Um, let's check around the area. Up that way. Okay. So if the zombie was there, I mean... Might as well check out the rooftop for anything first. No? Okay. Well, the rooftop does lead to this way, so... Makes sense we'd head up this way, possibly. There we go. Okay. Something's in here. There's a collectible there. Hmm. Question is, can I... Doesn't look like I can go in just yet. Ah, okay, probably here. And then go down. Okay. I think I've already listened to this. Yeah, because this is right here. It's gonna be some dude starting with an M. I think. Yep. All right, I've already listened to that. Got some footprints here. Someone's in there. Can't tell if he'll be an enemy. Though granted, he isn't red outline. Okay. Uh, is Marcelo gonna be in here? Oh! I pretty much just skipped a quest part, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. Uh, well. I don't want to talk to him just yet. Just in case I'm missing some integral part that'll prevent him from being... Uh, like, let's say I talk to him now, and he's hostile, and I talk to him after that, and he's not hostile. So, let's check the rest of this stuff, right? Also, I want to grab that collectible, whatever it may be. So, I want to grab that. Um, so, first I have to find it. Can I go down anywhere? There has to be some way to grab this collectible. No? Where was it? It was this way. Right? So here. I could have sworn it was right here. Oh, maybe around this corner? Okay, so it's up a level. Next to some trash cans. Oh, it's on the same level as him. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it's in this room. All right, I'm just gonna talk to him then. Who the hell are you, and what do you want? Whoa, calm down. Yeah, I'm just here to talk. You look familiar. You Bart? Yeah. You read? Demeyer sent you. Yeah. She told me to find you and get back what you stole. But I talked to Stah, and more than a few others, about you. Maybe you think there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Meyer tried, but she couldn't help. I couldn't take it anymore. Day after day. Will you two keep it down? Liam's asleep in the next room. Look, whatever your personal issues are, desertion and theft are serious. She plans to send her men for you. She'll get a lot of volunteers for the search team. I'll be executed on the spot if they find me. Probably why she sent you. Give me a running start. So, you did steal the map. It isn't a map, per se, but tells the location of some secret PK stash. Weapons, I bet. 
It's all I can think of to offer in exchange for the Colonel granting safe haven to the three of us. I see. Look, Hill. People like you never do. You never see. Andy, stay out of this. It's too late for that. You know it. Fuck this map or stash or whatever the fuck it is. The PK are the monsters here. Surely you understand. You'd have taken this from me by now if you didn't. Is that what you think? I do. If you go back to Meyer and tell her you've killed us, I will give you the coded message. Add my dog tags. Do this. Please. Just let us be. I sympathize. But desertion and theft are serious crimes and I have a job to do. Please. This isn't desertion. This is survival. Not just for me, but Andy and Liam as well. Will you please just help us? I mean, I'm certainly... Sympathetic. I'm curious what he means by the coded message. Maybe that's the, the map, the PK weapon stash. I feel like I want to agree to help him. Um, I don't really see any point in declining. The only thing is that Meyer said, if I find him, leave him to her and let her take care of it because it's her job. Um, I'm going to agree to help, though. None of you deserve this. Least of all, Liam. I'll help you. Oh, thank God. Andy, give Aiden the message and my dog tags. It's okay. If you say so. I had planned on going to the ship's library, finding a book or two that could help me decipher it. But things went south real quick. I didn't have time to check. Maybe I'll check. I'm curious what this is all about. Just don't get caught, or you'll be right behind us. Assuming you don't get caught, she'll never see us again. You're better off not going to the Colonel anyway. You know they call him the Butcher, right? We don't have a choice. What do we do? We'll stay here for now. Till we figure out what to do next. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If I could find you here, others could just as easily. You should keep moving. You're right. We gotta keep a low profile in any case. But at least we're alive. And we'll be together. I wish you all luck. Take care. Alright. Sounds pretty good. Cool. Looks like we got a real party going on here. You're close, oh. man, I gather. Yep. You weren't kidding. You're a real bloodhound to track these pervs down like you did. Wait there. I'll handle this. Well, look who we have here. So you killed our boss, huh? There's no hard feelings. That just means we get a bigger piece of the bounty pie. It'll certainly be a bigger share with you out of the picture. You gonna walk away or have we gotta convince you? Violently. Let's fight. You talk tough. Think you can back that up? Oh, we're gonna back it up, all right. Kill him. If you say so. I got a few weapons with, uh, your names on it, boys. Wow, down in one swing? Ooh. Hey, bud. Guess what? Dropkick time! <laughs> Catch this! Oh, that didn't work. That really here. Uh, hey, bud. Guess what? Drop kick. Hey, hey. Dude, drop kick is fun. All right. Anyways, mayhaps my weapons are slightly overpowered. <laughs> Alright, I want access to this room, mostly for that collectible. Hi, right, boys. Don't mind me. Literally ignoring you, just gonna... Oh, it's a med kit. Man. Alright. Hey. You're safe. They can't hurt you now. If only that was the last of our worries. Don't talk like that. We're alive. Thanks to Aiden. I suppose. What'll happen to us now? One step at a time, Andy. Let's get packing. Quickly. Good idea. 
You don't want anyone else finding you. Cool. So now we're gonna head back to Meyer. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to uh, do this. Pull one of these good old maneuvers. There we go. What's this? Spy game. Okay. PK Floating Fortress. Sweet. Oh, shoot. Uh, we might accidentally trigger another quest here, by the way, because my goal is to go down into the metro station. <laughs> um, apologies, the quest like randomly switches or you see a cutscene pop up. I don't know how it's going to work. Okay, I mean, it looks like we did that perfectly fine and nothing happened. Which is good. There we go. Alright, cool. Also, I love how he said... Uh, take it to the... He meant to take it to the library to decode it. And if we haven't actually started the book club message... Or the book club chain... Then we wouldn't be able to decode this message. So, like, one quest derives upon another. Oh, yeah, here's the dog tag. You're back. And your boy Clint was a real charmer. Thanks for that. Look, I had to double down on finding Bart. Tell me you found him at least. I did. And? He's dead. Here's his dog tags. He's a little too dead right now to need them anymore. But Aiden, you weren't supposed to kill him. Even I wasn't going to let that happen. He attacked me. I had to defend myself. I... I see. But the map. Tell me you at least got the map. I'm not giving that map up. That's my reward. I'm keeping it. Nope. Fuck. What happened to it? It burned. Now, from what I can tell, he realized he was in over his head and ditched it. The whole point had been to keep the boy safe, and he played it wrong. Damn it. Not knowing where it is could be worse than knowing it fell into enemy hands. If it'll make you feel any better, you can send a team to where I found him. Building not far from the freeway overpass. That'll help. Won't stop the shitstorm if we still can't find the map, though. Sounds rough. Forget about it. Just get out of here. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna break this shit to Matt. Okay, then. I'll catch you later. Uh, between his health condition, I doubt he'd do anything. Alright, so, treasure hunt. Hold to track. Went to the wrong spot. Meant to go over here. Decode the note to find hidden treasure. Alright. Okay. So, we have this. We have the cipher stuff. Actually, let's check our inventory to see if it's an actual item. I don't recall seeing it being added but i do just want to double check you know well hey albert doesn't look like it's an uh it's an item hey albert i got a question for you you know i appreciate a curious mind my boy ask away do you have any books on ciphers or code breaking oh a fascinating subject uh, now, are you familiar with alan turing he pioneered code breaking and in fact is considered the man who invented computers back in World War II. Brilliant man. And what thanks did he get from his government? Chemical castration and an ignoble death. Poor man. Well, um, just looking for some books, Albert. Of course, of course. Looking to be more useful to the PK, are you? By all means. From what I can see, this book on the Bacon Cipher should do the trick. And I have another two volumes on codes, if you're feeling studious. You'll be able to find them on the shelves nearby. All right, thanks, Albert. Yeah, Alan Surin really got the short end of the stick there. Decode the note to find the hidden treasure. All right, the Bacon Cipher. Let's see, creation of Sir Francis Bacon. Some believe it proved the theory that Bacon wrote works attributed to William Shakespeare. The proponents of the Baconian theory of Shakespeare authorship, such as Ignatius L. Donnelly and Elizabeth Wells Gallup, have claimed that Bacon used his cipher to encode messages revealed as revealing his authorship to the first in the first folio. 
use two different types typefaces, slightly differing in weight, boldness, each of which would present one character in this plain text, A, B, C, and so on. Okay. Well, decode the note to find the hidden treasure. Let's see. Ah, okay. So, there's that. Is that going to... Do I actually have to do that? Oh, it's pretty sick. Alright, well, let me grab a piece of paper. So, these are all strings of five then, huh? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't see anything less than five. Cool. I will grab a piece of paper. And I will write this out. Okay. So all together, it goes muddy grounds, water tower basement, break, zero three two, break, one six seven. Okay, so now that I have this piece of paper, we can head to muddy grounds, right? So water tower basement. So there, and I'm going to fast travel to this metro station because it's the closest spot I have that doesn't involve me going all the way or going all the way out of the PK spot. So the muddy grounds, water tower basement, currently controlled by the PKs. Let's hop on in, excuse me. Water tower basement, the wharf water tower. Drop point from the coded message. Okay. Find the hidden treasure. So it's in the basement. Let's hop down all the way. Okay. There is a safe here. There's this a UV bar. No, I'm going to keep that there. Okay. So, so let's ignore the zero for a second. Zero, three, two. That did not work when I tried it. So perhaps 32. And there's a break. Uh... 16 and 7 32 16 7 let's try that no okay so thirty two sixteen seven does not work zero three two does not work. Let's just try one six seven. Seven does not work. There are only so many ways you can interpret this code. Three twenty one sixty seven. Let's try that. Let's ignore the zero. Right. 67. Ha ha! There we go! Ding, 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 ding! Let's see what's in it. Oh! We got explosives. Aww. I mean... That was cool and all, but I was... Severely hoping for a now better reward. This message. I mean, I I suppose I can see why. But at the same time, if you take a look at my inventory, but these are mine. This stack of nine, this is mine. I got these five. Uh, bait. No, I got the I got the remote C four. Um. I mean, I I suppose, yeah. C4, but they aren't attachable, only the 67 damage. Uh, if you take a look at my C4, I, I don't have the best, but I can still craft way better <laughs> explosives. Um, yeah, it would have been really cool to see that actually do something. Like, actually be, like, max level explosives. That would be cool. In any case, I suppose we'll fast travel to the metro station, and at least do something for this quest here, shall we? The actual main quest. So with this, 
with the Metro. Hey, boys. Someone's here. The safe is off limits. Did something happen? Sorry, Aiden. We can't let you through. I mean, I'd let you in, but Matt gave strict orders not even to let God Almighty pay a visit. Huh, not even God Almighty. The Major talks like that when something's top secret. And it must be if they won't even tell us what's going on. But I don't question it either way. Orders are orders. And I'm just here to follow them. So, no one goes in. Looks like we gotta sneak in then. Well, that's a bummer. Let's find another way to the platforms, eh? If I can't do anything here... Hmm... Doesn't look like I'd parkour here. Possibly in the vents above? Uh, I just... They just leave this on open? Okay. Sure. Oh. There we are. What is that? Distraction. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Falls through. Ready. We're just waiting for Matt. We're back to right, sir. Then we'll get a little closer and we'll talk to Wayne. Everything all right with Matt, sir? Yeah. Right. I'll do it. I didn't seem to do anything. I want to explore these vents to the fullest. No, I'm not going that way. Nothing there. That's a dead end. As well as this way. Well, what's here? Hmm. No power? What do you mean, no power? This whole metro station has power. Alright. Don't tell me this is empty. Okay. So let's hop on through this door here. So there's no guards there. train left. Huh. He's going for it after all. Yeah. All right, what's next, one? Go outside. I'll turn on the transmitter. Relax. Thanks to the transmitters, we can see where he's taking those lamps. Matt may be cunning, but not as cunning as we are. 
All right. And with that, I will end off the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all are enjoying this. Oh, I mean, I suppose I needed help there. This is very hard. Let's open off the episode by lockpicking this, shall we? Only slightly to the right. Ooh, we got it. Let's see what's in here. MRE rations and falconeer guards. Okay. Well, you know, not exactly what I expected, but but that works. <laughs> Just push the suitcase, why don't I? Anyways, folks, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!